Hey guys, it is Sunday, June 6th. It's rainy, but I don't actually mind it. It's forecast to be rainy all week and I'm like, yes. <laughs> which I never thought I'd say living in Vancouver, but it means it's not as hot. Oh yeah. Yesterday was kind of a waste of a day and honestly, a lot of my Saturdays have been a bit of a waste of a day. And I blame the Friday streams because I'm always up, well, not always, but a lot of times I'm up pretty late on the Fridays. Like this past Friday, I think I streamed till, well, it was past 4 a.m., I think just past four. And then I don't like going to sleep immediately after if I've been drinking. So I stayed up, I watched an episode of The Handmaid's Tale, just chilled, and it was close to six by the time I went to sleep. So I spent like, most of my Saturday sleeping. <laughs> I need to set myself a limit of like midnight or something for the Friday streams. I did, however, clean up in here and it was a bit of a deeper clean than usual, like wiping everything down with a damp rag, including like monitors and around everything, including this shelf, even though it's not arranged nicely, I just kind of left it in disarray. But yeah, I just gave everything a good wipe. This is still a little, yeah, just because I got pins here and then the Alex drawers have been moved from that spot, but yeah. Did I take off? Oh, I did. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll probably just leave it off since I'm gonna cook. I just got back from getting some groceries just for the meal planning for the week. Mm, yes. I'm gonna be doing a beef stir fry. I don't want every vlog to start off with a cooking montage, so I'll just show you the end result. Okay, meal number one. We have chicken thighs just since i had so many leftover chicken thighs from when i bought them a couple weeks ago they're just covered in oil and spices and then baked and then when there's the brussels sprouts with parm and bacon and some alfredo noodles there's only two of these so it's one day one for me one for christian just because usually i make two meals for two days so four total and then on the fifth day it's kind of like what am i eating so this is like the fifth day meal we can eat it whenever but it's like meal number five which is why there's one serving for each of us there's a lot of leftover brussels sprouts and pasta there's two plates here two little plates so we can eat that later for supper tonight maybe and meal number two we have spaghetti and it's made with ground pork just because we still had some left over and I bought just a little bit more just to make a little bit more which turns out I didn't need also this time with the rouse sauce that I got at Costco I taste tested it holy crap holy crap like what everyone said it was the best sauce ever this might be the only sauce I ever buy ever again <laughs> although the real test will be the full meal but mm. but yeah there's a lot extra I definitely did not need to buy that extra pack it's just a small one but still this is a lot left over, so I'm going to boil a bit more pasta, I think, make two more portions and just freeze them. And finally, meal number three, a beef stir fry. Look at that. And there's quite a few. There's one extra container here, so yeah, these are big servings too. So we'll see. That, that you know, the day I eat this, I could be like lunch and supper pretty much. <laughs> yeah, and I'm finally done all the cooking. There's so much stuff in here now. Holy crap. And some of it's in the freezer too. Mm -hmm. I just tidied up somewhat and washed a few things, but the rest is being left for Christian. <laughs> and I had washed all a bunch of stuff before I even started. So yeah, he'll handle the rest of it. And I am out of here. Oh my god, it's already 520. I've been in here way too long. I'm going downstairs. I'm gonna try to do some editing. Editing downstairs has been a hassle. <laughs> This computer's just not very good. So I've been putting off editing stuff because it takes me twice as long to edit anything and eventually gets to a point where I give up and just go upstairs to finish the edit. I'm getting a new laptop though. So once I have that, I'll change everything. <laughs> oh goodness, Missy me. It is Tuesday. I've got comfy vibes. Nice oversized shirt. My sweatpants. Eat. Now, Tuesdays are usually store prep, but I'm switching it up this week and making it an art day. Thursday might also be an art day, which is normally supposed to be, but I'm working on a somewhat large piece of art and don't know if I'll finish it or not. So, yeah, I'm just kind of... I'm getting a little thick of the pins now. Just want to change for a little bit. So, 
yeah, working on some art. And I've just been itching for the last few days to do stuff with pencil crayon. And I did a little bit of doodling last night. So this is what I was doing. I was just sitting on the couch, just having fun with the pencils and just doodled a couple things. And it's probably a little messier than what I am going to do today, but just having fun with it. And so I want to, this is what I came up with for the actual art piece. I don't really know. I really struggled with this, actually. I'm going to insert the Procreate speed paint for this. I just really want to color something. I want to do the pencil crayon stuff. And so I just needed something to color. It's more about the actual coloring than the artwork itself. I just wanted sort of a serene feel, sort of childlike proportions to the face. And I was really struggling with hair and what I wanted to do. And at one point I drew this bucket hat and I'm like, now this just looks like it actually is a toddler, but is that what I want? I don't know. And then I kept, I don't know, I just switched it up and ended up doing this flowy, hair going upwards. I don't know if I like it that much, but I can add some, you know, flyaways and background pieces and stuff because right now it's all just one big chunk. So maybe I can separate it a little bit. I mostly just want to render out a face and then play around with background effects. So I have these really long droopy hearts and then maybe some little stars too in there. I just thought it'd be a cool effect. Just something I can do to play around with the pencils. <laughs> and I'll probably actually do a base layer in marker and then go over top with the pencils. I think that's what I'll do. Kind of like how I've done in the past with watercolor, but just not using watercolor, just use the Copics. And I want to work on Bristol board because when I do pencil stuff on watercolor paper, the stuff I have is just really toothy. At least the cold press stuff is. And I thought, why not try the Bristol? This is super huge. I don't know if this is too big for something that's more on the simple side, but at the same time, I want to be able to get in lots of detail. So I don't know. like. Like detail in the coloring, even though the line art is simple. Does that make sense? I don't know. And I have this huge paper here. I got this at Daiso a while back. It's just regular copy paper, but it's A3 size. So I could print out the sketch onto that and then use a light box to trace it onto the Bristol. So yes, that's the plan. And just work on this today until I feel like stopping. And whatever I don't finish, I can work on another day. And as for the stamping, the stamping stuff never arrived from Amazon and I did get a refund for it. The tracking is just not updating. I don't think it's coming. So I was looking to reorder it, but now the estimated shipping time is a whole month. And I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want to wait that long. So I might just go to Michael's and see what they have. I don't know when I'm going to go maybe sometime within the next week but that's the plan now is the stamps never came so i'll just see what i find at michael's kind of like scope out the prices and that's the update on that <laughs> that's a big piece of paper on camera, it kind of looks normal. <laughs> it's huge, I swear. So I named this art piece Dreaming just because I needed to name it something in Procreate to export it. And I find that very weird because she looks so peaceful. And last night I just had a nightmares. And a lot of it I remember very vividly too. And it's just like, I still feel stressed. Like I was stressed all night and now I'm just like trying to forget about it. Maybe I'm just trying to force out the bad dreaming vibes with good dreaming vibes. Am I gonna regret doing something this big in pencil? Oh my god. <laughs> Here's compared to my hand. <laughs> Sketch is transferred very loosely. <laughs> literally set up the camera to start recording and Christian starts blaring music in the shower. And then construction's noisy out front. Okay, let's try the basement. Okay, now I'm in the warehouse. So let's talk about the artwork a little bit. Because although things started off nicely, I have ultimately decided 
to scrap this and I am not going to finish it even though I put in like six hours so far. So here are my reasonings. It started off well, I thought it looked nice and whatnot and I had my little side view camera going during the stream while I was streaming this slash recording and I switched to top down view and the face just looks so different. I was like, wait, what? Cause I could see it in real life from like straight on but then seeing what it looked like on camera, it was like that, <clears throat> that distant view. It's like zooming out to see what something looks like. So then I started fixing things cause you know, I had my Copic base down, but then I was doing all the rendering with pencils. So I could kind of erase some areas, sort of fix them up. Plus for example, the, the cheek, I kind of brought it in cause the background's dark. So I can easily just cover the cheek, move some of the hair over. I moved the eyes even a little bit. So they're a little closer together. Little changes like that, but it was still looking really wonky and ultimately I just I just thought, okay, well once I scan it, I'm gonna have to use the liquify tools. Oh <laughs> jump up Kiki. She's about to jump up where the camera is. I'm gonna have to use the liquify tool to just fix it. Which is a little disappointing, but I was like, whatever, like that's what I'll do. But then in the evening I was thinking about it more while I was just chilling on the couch. I was like, you know, maybe I'm just gonna redo the whole thing. You know, yes, I've put six hours into it, but it's it's just six hours, like that's that's one day's worth of drawing. It's not like I'm 50 hours into an oil painting or something. So then I decided, yeah, okay, I'll just redo it. And then I'm browsing social media and I see a post from Chris Hong about her upcoming art book, which I already know about because I had pledged to it a few days prior. And the cover art I just felt was like so similar to what I had made. Like, like I must have been influenced by it, even though it wasn't like directly what I was thinking of when I was working on it. Like. I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm gonna draw something that looks like this. I thought I was just making up something random. But then looking back on it, I'm like, oh no, like well, I think I think what I'm making is just too too similar. And sure it's fine to be like inspired, you know. <laughs> like no idea is original. Everything you come up with is pulled from somewhere, but I just <sighs> I'm uncomfortable with it. And I sure I could just say I could finish it and say, oh, inspired by Chris Hong, but I just don't I'm like, I'm redoing it anyway, so might as well do something different. For me, it's just like the angle of the head down with eyes closed, which yes, I've drawn a lot of times, but it's also like the hair billowing back, which is not even how I was originally sketching it, but then I ended up drawing it that way. And then there's like clouds in the background and there's butterflies. I don't have butterflies, but I have like hearts, which I know, it, I know it's not the same. I know it's not the same. But it's like, it's close enough that I'm like, oh, like clearly I was influenced by that because I literally pledged to her Kickstarter just a few days prior. So like, it's, it's not a coincidence. It could be a coincidence in another case maybe, but in this case, it's not a coincidence. I still would love to do something with um, the way I was doing the clouds, which again, is not the same because mine was gonna be like pure clouds covering everything. When I was trying to figure out how to fill the background, I was actually looking up James Jean's Instagram. because I'm like, okay, hey, he does like lots of cool shapes in the background. So maybe that'll give me some ideas. And he does like these water droplets. And that's actually how I got the idea for droopy hearts, even though it's kind of like the reverse, but yeah. You know, I'm like looking up ideas for that. Like, oh, what can I do in the background? But then it ended up looking like something completely different that I saw previously. So anyway, yeah, that's why I've decided to scrap this. Hope you enjoy the footage anyway. <laughs> You know, I, I do like the idea of the color scheme and having like the clouds and hearts. So maybe I'll revisit something with that, but yeah, I'll, I'll just, I just want to change it up though. <laughs> I can use some of those ideas I had and just put it towards something new. So now I'm like, oh, am I working on that today? I don't know. Restarting again right away. I'm not sure if I want to. <laughs> and I don't want to rush the concept either because that one was a rushed concept because I, I just wanted to do pencil rendering. So I just quickly sketched something and didn't put enough thought into it. So I think I would like to just chill and, you know, apply the clouds and the, the, the color scheme to something else. It's funny because initially while working on it, while I was like coloring the face, I'm like, oh my God, I love this so much. I'm definitely going to make this a print. And then it went from that to being like, I'm not even finishing this artwork, which is really rare for me. So here's how far I got on the artwork. That's what it looks like. And that's how it's going to stay because I'm not finishing it. Now on to today's activities. First thing I'm doing is I'm going to run to Michael's and Canadian Tire because those stamps I had ordered, they never came. The well, why don't I just go to Michael's then, see what I can find there. And I want to go to Canadian Tire because I still need bolts 
for my drawers and Canadian Tire is just like the closest thing to Michael's like in terms of physical distance that would have that sort of thing so yeah I'm gonna go there and see if I can find bolts for my drawers for those fancy handles that I put on the drawers because I still don't have bolts for that the bolts that came with the handles were so long it just I need something really short so hopefully I have time for both of those things because the stream starts at noon I think I should be fine so let's go to Michael's, woo! I can't even remember the last time I drove to that little area where the Michael's and Canadian Tire are. I just, it's been so long. <laughs> so let's go. There's copyrighted music in here, dudes. I'm picking up some flowers. I thought they'd be good for like taking pictures of my art, which I never do. I keep buying things to take pictures for Instagram and I never post, but <laughs> I'm trying to incentivize myself, okay? This is the kind I need, but there's like nothing. There's like nothing here. I mean, these aren't so bad. Wait. It's not as cute as what I was going for, but it's something. I could try to cut these apart and arrange them, maybe? <laughs> I wanted more like flowers, but... I mean, these are okay too. Again, not flowers, but it's like foliage. It's like planty. There's these kind of stamps, but I was going to use these with my acrylic blocks, right? Alrighty, I spent way too long deciding which ones to get. <laughs> uh, ultimately, I decided on these ones. I'm kind of hoping I can cut them. Um, we'll see. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So, just a quick show and tell. Yeah, here's the ones I went with. Oh my god, the person next to me just got to their car. Hello, I'm filming. <laughs> Awkward. License plate is toit. T O I T. Toit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is one bunch of florals I got. It's from the fall collection. Cute, cute, cute decorative piece. And then some little ones. These were buy one, get one free. A little red one. There's a light pink. A salmon sort of color. And yellow. And I had a gift card, a really old one that I finally remembered to use. I can't remember if I've partially used it in the past or not, but I had no idea how much was left on it. Pay for this stuff. Still have 40 bucks left on it, so. <laughs> now to Canadian Tire for the bolts. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want from there while I'm there, but I don't think so. Oh, and look at this duck. I'm a little ducky. Sitting on a dashboard. And here we are. Okay, I didn't film the screw aisle because there was a dude right beside me. There's a smaller pack, but it doesn't have enough, so I have to go with this big pack here, but I guess that's okay. They're not too expensive. I had to Google the size I needed because I forgot to bring one with me. Apparently most drawer pulls use the 832 or whatever. And... They don't fit. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let's open this up. Hopefully it's easy to cut apart. I mean, keeping them intact wouldn't be the worst thing. But I want a wider design than what these are. I kind of like this one better. So I maybe should use this one as the guinea pig. Just wondering if I should cut it while it's still on the plastic. Maybe. So I'm gonna separate out all the pieces so I can mix and match and arrange them how I want. This is a little densely packed for my taste, so I wanna cut them apart. Okay, that is a little difficult. Maybe I do wanna peel it. I just don't wanna soil the back of it. It's not really sticky per se, but it's kinda is. It doesn't have an adhesive applied, it just sort of is sticky-ish by nature. Ooh, some of those are so close to each other. <laughs> okay, okay. I suppose it doesn't, doesn't have to be super clean, but I just want to cut a bit more of that off. And these just stick onto the acrylic block. 
<laughs> I don't know if that's where I'll keep that one. This is just like the test. But it just sticks on there and then you can stamp away. Ooh. <laughs> So I kind of want to stamp each sheet twice because I could do one central design or I could just do two. And then is it, am I doing two separate designs? That's what I was originally going to do, but because these are so tiny and it's going to take more work to build the stamp, I might just stamp the same one twice. I could even just give it a 180 twist so it doesn't look exactly tiled. Yeah, okay. Time to assemble the rest of them. Cut the rest out. This is going to take a while. <laughs> it's kind of fun though. I've never done this before. It's a fun new thing to play with. Okay. Ta-da! So let's start building a stamp. I don't know how close I want them to each other. Not too close. I don't want them as close to the range as they are on the sheet. I don't know. I'm just going to start putting stuff down. We'll see where the hell this goes. <laughs> it's also probably going to be used sideways, so I should keep that in mind. So the stamp is done. I have to do a test stamp to see if it's all good and if I like the spacing. You know, I might want to nudge a thing or two. Here are the excess pieces. I mostly use the ones from the orange sheet. Those are my favorites. But um, yeah, here's how the stamp came out. Let's stamp. Stamp's all done. Now time for Fall Guys, you guys. You're such enablers. I shouldn't do this over the bag, but I'm trying to have it in frame for the vlog. Okay. These better not fall off. <laughs> Half of them don't even have ink on them. This is gonna be a pain in my ass. <laughs> wait, wait, oh, wait, what is this? Oh, one of them flipped over! No, 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 no! Wait, okay. One piece came off and flipped over. <gasps> you know what might be a problem? They might not be the same um, thickness. Like the round ones might not be the same thickness because I'm, well, I'm looking at it and it's mostly like the ones from the orange sheet that uh, got color. So what if the other ones are just not as thick of silicone? Oh no. Yeah, it seems to be all the, uh, like, like look at this middle one, it's getting so juicy, whereas the one adjacent to it's getting nothing. They're from the same set, you'd think they'd be the same depth. Put the block down face up and bring the stamp pad to it. How is that going to change anything? No! This is all one big failure. I was so happy at how I had arranged them. Oy. Rolling the ink. It doesn't matter how the ink gets on here because then if you go to stamp it, it's still not going to stamp down. Don't you have two acrylic blocks? Yeah, ooh, what if I perfectly transferred all of one type in the exact same position onto the other block, and then I stamp, well that would require stamping four times per sheet, which would be annoying, but. <laughs> you know, just try to peel this off and stick it on this one in the exact same position. <laughs> you could add the stamps to the first block then sit the second block on top and look through and place the other stamps, yeah. Then I might want to do just one stamp per sheet then because like, otherwise it's stamping four times per sheet, which is so excessive. So it's gonna do like one, two, but that's gonna be one, two, three, four. <laughs> oh, I could just, I mean, I could try to make it just central. Okay, well, now that the ink is like off of here, mostly, this was the sacrificial sleeve. So if it's one of these, take it off. Oh, 
These better not peel them up every time I do this. This <laughs> seems excessive. This might be all pointless, but let's just give it a try. Okay. Oop. And then take... Wait. Which one did you... Yeah, yeah, okay. This one came from the green, so this has got to come up. So... Okay, let's do a test. Just one central stamp in the middle of this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll just stamp it down. Okay. Okay. And cross his fingers. <laughs> yeah. That pressing is going to destroy my wrist. Okay, first of all, that looks pretty good. Just one central stamp. Although I'd probably lower it a little bit because the top is going to get folded over. So I probably should stamp that a little lower. I probably will want to stand for this too. Oh my god, this is going to be so annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> but it's cute! Okay, that's actually cute. I just stamped it too high, but... Okay. Alright. That one's a bit pale, but that's just the nature of stamping. I don't want them to all look like that. I like the, you know, the rustic feels nice. So, okay. That's cute. Okay, alright. <gasps> oh! Now I wish I had two stamp colors. Eh, well, that's fine. <laughs> two ink colors. <laughs> but, okay, let's do another one with stamping lower. Yeah, I might want to get some shoes and then just stamp. Oh, I should go get my ergonomic mat, actually. Mm. Okay, should I some tape on one side of them so I don't mix up what's the top or something? How many bags do you have to stamp? 3,000. See, my thought was I could use the same stamp repeatedly and then, then switch. Oh, fuck, why am I doing it high again? No, what's wrong with me? Whatever, okay. Like, do this the one stamp on a bunch of bags and then switch to the next one. See, I have to be try, I have to try to be fast about it. That's the thing about doing center of the sleeve here. It's harder to tell. If I was doing double, which I could still do. Well, no, that doesn't line up perfectly, I guess. But yeah, it just doesn't line up with the edge of the, of the bag, which would make it a little easier. <laughs> okay, I did that one wrong too, so. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I should do four stamps per, even though it would look nice. It doesn't say Bailey J on it, because I would have to, like, order a custom stamp to do that. And I'm like, no. For a temporary solution, we don't need to do that. Plus, I don't want to wait for that. The hack I use is I put a flat cushion under my paper. Someone said mouse pad would work if you have one that's big enough. I might want to turn this. This will be easier, I think, if I go this way. Okay, I am out here making a second coffee. Just thought I'd give you a stamping update. It's actually not so bad. Once I had to split the stamps onto two acrylic blocks, I was just like, no, but it's actually not so bad lining them up. It looks great even if you're crooked. It's pretty good. And I'm just doing the single stamp per sheet. Obviously, otherwise it's four stamps per sleeve. It'd be really nice if it was one stamp per sleeve. I'd get through them twice as fast, but this is fine too. It's like a one-time thing, right? This is just for these notion bags. I'm not gonna be doing this ever again. So, you know, I don't mind doing it this way. I don't know, but I'm having fun. It's something different. Something different to do that I don't normally do. I've got this stack here done so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe not as cute as this. I mean, it's, it's cute in its own way. The design's hella cute, it's just, yeah. What if I got a blank pad and then just did different colors in different spots? This is nice too. Look who decided to finally show up. Lil' Kiki, she's been downstairs. <laughs> you sniffing all the new stuff? Okay, it is now six o'clock and I thought I would show progress. So I have these here, these are all half stamped. They have the first one, but not the second one on them yet. And then I have this stack over here, which are fully stamped with both. Look how cute. 
I have a few that are kind of extra bad. None of them are perfect, obviously, but these ones are kind of just like, eh. I'll keep them aside and maybe fix them up. Like, if there's a gap, just put an extra little stamp in there or something. So that's the progress so far. And I don't think I can do much else today. Well, one, wrists are a little sore. Might be feeling feeling this more tomorrow, especially in the forearm, but it's not too bad. I have people constantly telling me on stream and in YouTube comments to get a Misty. I don't want to buy like fancy stamping stuff for like this one time thing. And the Misty is more like for precision placement. Like I don't have to like open it and put this in every time and like, I don't know. I think it's faster to just like stamp into the ink and then stamp onto the paper. I'm not really looking to be super accurate. I'm just looking for speed and with minimal investment into it so yeah i think this has been working out great and then i just want to show you guys again this is what i wanted on the brown sleeves but it kept jamming the printer and so in the future i'm just going to do the paper envelopes which i think looks really really cute here's one that has prints actually inside so once it's ooh, once it's folded over it looks like this and it's got the washi on the back so i think this is super cute so the stamping stuff is just temporary so yeah i'm not really looking for anything fancy in terms of stamping i mean to me this is already fancy like cutting out stamps and putting them on an acrylic block like it's fanciest stamping i've ever done <laughs> and when this starts to get dry i might just try to use some inks i already have it says archival inks can be used with water-based dye inks acrylic paint and watercolors really acrylic and watercolors Ideal for stamping over alcohol inks. So yeah, I didn't buy like the refill inks that are specifically for this, but I'm like, oh, maybe I can just try to use some of the stuff I have. Cause I have like art inks and I have my Copic inks. Like I feel like something's gotta work with this. But yeah, so far so good. I'm probably not gonna stamp all of them for this store update. Cause I don't think I'm gonna need all 3000 sleeves. <laughs> I've never had even close to 3,000 orders, I would not even be able to package that many orders. Plus not every order is gonna have a sleeve in it. It's just for people who get the prints. So yeah, and it'd be for sticker sheets too, but I'm not gonna have any sticker sheets this upcoming time. So this is probably enough sleeves to last me a few updates, at least two. Plus my next update's gonna be actually broken into two, but I mean other than that. If you count that as one update, this should for sure be enough for the one after that. <laughs> I guess that's all I've got for you this week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one next Friday. I just transferred some of the clutches into this jar because it's more portable and less likely to spill. Isn't that cute? Looks like little candies. There is no point wasting